what you think of me is none of my business. You know, but we are training ourselves to believe that what you think of me is something that ought to dictate to me what it is that I do. So here we have these three components of the ego in ambition. Who I am is what I accumulate. Who I am is what I accomplish. Who I am is what other people think of me. And you came from a place where you had nothing, you had to do nothing, and there's no one else out there to judge you. And that's what you're going to return to. So in this little parentheses in eternity, we've taken on a conception of ourselves as completely the opposite of our authentic self. So every time you think about what it is that you are dealing with, like I'm dealing with leukemia, and I don't think about leukemia from the perspective of, I wonder if I can beat this, I wonder if I can fight this, I wonder if I can kill it off, I wonder if I can win, I wonder if it's going to take me down, I wonder if, I wonder if I'm going to have test after test after, I wonder if, I don't look at it like that. I just think that with God all things are possible. And I just let go of it after that and just live in peace with it. And you can do that with virtually anything. Relationships. Your finances. Your health. Verse 60 is the most profound in the Hua Hu Ching for me. The mystical techniques for achieving immortality are revealed only to those who have dissolved all ties to the gross worldly realm of duality, conflict, and dogma. <laughs> 